What's good, y'all? It's King Tees. Welcome back to Throughout the Association and another day, another absurd statement made by Paul Pierce. I'm starting to believe that's his job on the show. If you didn't actually watch Paul Pierce and didn't know how great he was, if I asked you just based on everything you've heard him say as an analyst, what kind of career do you think he had? You might think he was trash. Now, number 34 made headlines once again last night when during his Truth Serum segment on NBA Countdown, he said he had a better career than Dwayne Wade. He said he was better. He said if he had Shaq, LeBron, and Bosh during his career, he would have five or six rings easy. And he also said if he had KG and Ray Allen during his prime, the big three in Miami of, of Wade, LeBron, and Bosh would have never won any rings. Now, in Paul Pierce's defense, he was great himself. He's a champion. So if he feel this way, he kind of got the right to feel this way. And also, Dwayne Wade, LeBron, those were his rivals. So I understand sometimes he's not just going to give it up to them. But in this instance, these comments are so ridiculous, it's not even worth making the argument for Dwayne Wade. D-Wade beat this man in just about every statistical category that you can think of. He got more rings. He's just done more, and he's better. That's it. They were, they were being nice even mentioning Paul Pierce's name, even comparing him to Dwayne Wade. Now, of course, since Paul Pierce's statements blew up, Dwayne Wade and his family saw them. So D-Wade's son, Zaire, went on Instagram and he said, I don't want to hear it. Dude played 19 years and won one ring. Not to mention we did knock them out the playoffs, right? Oh, I. Right. Now that's the truth. Then Dwayne Wade's wife, Gabrielle Union, she said this Paul Pierce thing is wrong on so many levels, but what I find most troublesome is the idea of a man trying to diminish another man that looks like him, was raised like him, in order to shine a tad brighter. This isn't entertaining, it's sad. Now, it's a little bit entertaining, Gabrielle, I can't lie, but it's amazing to me that everybody's still taking what Paul Pierce says so serious. This is the same man that said if the Lakers, he, when the Lakers still had a chance at the playoffs, he said they should sit LeBron the rest of the year. He said he's a better shooter than Klay Thompson. He said if the Lakers draft is Zion Williamson, they should trade LeBron. He said everybody in the NBA now do the step back because of him. The, the, the list goes on. This man is becoming... Paul Pierce is a master troll. He know exactly what he's doing, and he know the reaction that it's getting. But I will say, Paul Pierce... He kind of take away from his own greatness and everything that he did on the floor, everything he accomplished, because instead of everyone's focus being on everything that he did, instead it's on everything, all the crazy things that he's saying off the floor, which kind of takes away from everything he did on the floor. But as far as this Paul Pierce versus Dwayne Wade, I'm sorry to say this because they both future Hall of Famers, both of them. But... Draymond Green said it best, man. Paul Pierce, they don't, they don't love you like that. What you guys think about this? And definitely subscribe.